What is going on everyone? Today is Thursday, April 26th of 2018. So I want to read two articles uh, today. Um, this one is titled, How Litecoin Just Helped Validate Bitcoin as a Payment System. Can I go, to, go over it really quickly, uh, say what it means for Litecoin? There's some other things I want to clear up as well. There was something that happened with token pay and some information or misinformation going on. Um, so I want to talk about that a little as well. But let, let's just jump into this first. So this was written on 425 2018, how Litecoin just helped validate Bitcoin as a payment system. Bitcoin price surged 9,000 thanks in part to your confidence in the viability of Bitcoin as a payment system. With any Bitcoin price hike, it's important to look at recent market events in order to stand why prices are rising. What is more, recent $1,000 surges in price over the past seven days may be due to a $99 million Litecoin transaction on April 19th, 2018. I'm sure you've heard about that. Uh, more specifically, one which was picked up by the likes of Business Insider as costing just 40 cents to process and which is settled in under 2.5 minutes. So why is that relevant for Bitcoin? Uh, Lightning network speeds and mining fees hold significant relevance for Bitcoin. This is due to the fact that using Litecoin as Bitcoin sidechain is appreciated by many as the best way for Bitcoin to scale long term. When, therefore, Litecoin is used to send $99 million for less than the price of a postage stamp, this reminds market watchers of what Bitcoin itself will soon be capable of. In my opinion, though, Litecoin is already capable of it, so, you know, why not choose Litecoin? And then the article ends, we might be seeing the start of a new Bitcoin bull run. Despite having pulled back to 9,000 less than 24 hours after reaching 9,700, Bitcoin's long-term outlook, outlook is still decidedly positive. As for whether reaching 9,000 signals the start of a new, renewed bull run, it is still too early to tell. This being the case, the best advice for anyone who held through January's drop from 20 to 10K would simply be keep holding. And Bitcoin did go much lower than 10K. We just want to look. I think the lowest is around... Uh, 6,000, yeah, at the beginning of February. February 5th hit about 6,000. And then the uh, the YRX debit card. This was written today um, on Ethereum World News, written by Yusuf Oleod Sapoto. Uh, and this was published today, April 26th. Even though Litecoin YRX debit card had launched, launch had been announced earlier, the proper unveiling was still stunning, outstanding, and mind-blowing. So some potentials of this new debit card, fast and easy conversion of Litecoin into fiat currencies, which will make spending the crypto coin stress-free using the free YRX Visa card, instant, easy, and secure purchasing of Litecoin with bank transfer debit or credit card through YRX account, easy cash out of ICO profits by depositing the altcoin and exchanging it into Litecoin, conversion of Litecoin and Bitco into Bitcoin and vice versa at any time, free transfer of Litecoin to other Litecoin wallets, and the possibility of using a Litecoin for payment option on major brands that make it available. And then just to cover this article, basically just saying about token pay, there was a, another article earlier today that was retweeted by token pay, which I, I believe is slightly misinformation. This is all potential. There's nothing concrete out of this, but uh, regarding token pay and Litecoin partnering. However, one thing I did want to point out about this article that I did like is that when Litepay failed, Many felt it would be difficult for Litecoin to get another chance at mass adoption. Turns out that was just the beginning. Ever since, we have 10x, Alliant Payments, YRX, and most recently WikiLeaks all coming on board to work with Litecoin as a payment currency. So whether or not this does end up materializing, I think it's important to point out that with all of this going on, Litecoin is, you know, setting up partnerships, debit cards, just an array of a lot of different things behind the scenes uh, and making Bitcoin look good and doing good for Bitcoin, doing good for the crypto community. And a lot of people might ask, you know, when will price reflect this or why isn't price reflecting this? And I think I think definitely the price re will reflect it. We're still coming out of a major correction. I think we are on the way out of it, um, but we're still in the process of doing that, as you can see here on the, the Litecoin chart. And then if we look on the Bitcoin as well, this is a pretty huge correction it began really in the middle of December for Bitcoin and has really been on this trajectory for for months now. It's been over four months. It doesn't seem, actually, it does seem pretty long. Um, but yeah, I think prices re will definitely reflect it. Uh, Litecoin specifically, once the market really does get its uh, get its bearings more. But I really think when the market gets over 500 billion, uh, which for Bitcoin, the last time that was the case, Bitcoin was a little over 11,000 and Litecoin was a little over 230 US dollars. 
it's essentially this big hump right here is where the $500 billion mark was. And then for Bitcoin, it was right around here. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I will be back soon.